Welcome back. It's January 8th, 2023, and this is the Southern Off-Road Championship Series Round 5, better known as Sorks. We've got 14 in the 50 plus B class today, but we've got three classes on the same line, so the line is crowded, but my goal is to get through that first turn in one piece. I had to alter my course a little bit there to avoid the chaos, but made it through that first turn okay. That's Steve Lord on my left. He's in the 45 plus B class. I definitely prefer the second approach to starts with a separate row for each class, but the Sorks folks have been combining classes on rows for a long time, so I think it works for them. I've only raced a few races with Sorks before, mostly due to travel distance and schedule conflicts, but I always have a great time when I can get to it. Technically, I could have raced one more race in C-Class today since second and Sarah seasons haven't started back yet, but I really wanted to see how I could do in the 50 plus B-Class. This course is eight miles long and it's gonna be a full two hour race, so I'm gonna to try to settle into a good flow here. The dirt conditions really couldn't be better. The soil is very sandy, there's no mud, no dust, so really perfect dirt conditions. That's Joshua Conley in the 40 plus B class. There's my friend Mike Hickman in the 50 plus B class. So I'm gonna see if I can pace him a little bit here. I really don't know what my class position is at this point. I think I'm in the top five or so, but I won't know that for sure until I get done with the first lap. There goes Ron Brown, he's another 50 plus B guy. Here's Jeff Harvey, he's in 45 plus B, and he actually won the 45 plus B class. Congrats, Jeff. There goes Dennis Manders, he's a 50 plus B guy. Mike Howerton in 40 plus B, thank you sir. Most of this course was pretty wide open, but this last mile or so had a bunch of tight pines. It was pretty fun. At the end of lap one, I'm in sixth place with a time of 27 minutes, 23 seconds. A couple of miles into this lap, I passed Mike Hickman. He stopped there on the left, so that puts me in fifth place. I'm near the end of the second lap and I stopped to help Zach Irwin. He was pinned under his bike and Mike Hickman passed me back there. Uh. Uh. You alright? Yeah, I'm not good. Alright, get it. Grab it. Thank you. So after the second lap, I'm in seventh place. Mike Hickman passed me back and Rob Tucker passed me somewhere. I want, I'm not really sure where, I couldn't really find it in the video. We're a couple of miles into the second lap and here come the double A guys. There's Ensign Payne. 
and that's Seth Walder. I'm not sure who that is behind Seth. I couldn't make out the helmet number in the video. I passed Mike again here, so that puts me in sixth place. Rob Tucker stalled his bike there, so now I'm in fifth place. At the end of lap three, I'm in fifth place, but I've got Rob, Mike, and Charles right on my back tire. There goes Mike. I'm in sixth place again. This young lady pointed out a great hotline. Thank you, ma'am. I'm about an hour and 40 minutes into this race and I'm starting to really feel fatigued. I think I took a little bit too much time off from riding between Christmas and this race, but I'm glad I went to this race to figure that out before the second and Sarah season start. Out of gas. Not the bike. Bike's good. Me, I'm out of gas. That's the end of lap four. The white flag is out. I'm in sixth place. You see my lap time really dropped off from being so tired. At 30 minutes and four seconds, that's more than two minutes slower than my previous lap. So eight more miles to go. My camera battery died during the last lap. I struggled with fatigue and cramps during that last lap, but managed to finish seventh with a total time of two hours, 24 minutes, 40 seconds. This was a great race to kick off my 2023 race season. It's rare to have great weather and perfect dirt in January, so I'm glad I was able to make it to this one. The Swartz crowd is always welcoming. I really enjoy getting to talk with everyone there, and I'm really looking forward to the next one. If you enjoy these race recap videos, please let me know that by hitting the like button and commenting below. That really helps me out. Thanks for watching.